Potsy and I'll be staying on. But I wanted to ask you about Chelsea. They've made a financial offer for Victor Oshiman. There's talk that they could pounce for Nico Williams. What have you made of their summer so far? I mean, I've seen a lot of Chelsea fans online excited. I've seen a lot of people sharing the training videos of what Maresca's doing and that's what they're moving in the right direction. What sort of your, your take been over the last few weeks, LB? Well, well they spent 1.5 billion so far under this owner, yeah, in what, two years. So why not make it 2 billion? You know what I mean? Uh, that, that's the way I see it. They need a striker. The guy they've got at the moment ain't good enough. Victor Osherman's there. He's available if you pay the money. Go get him. Nico Williams, you know, you've got Mudrick, you've got Sterling, you've got Madawake, who Don's telling everyone is the best thing since sliced bread. So, yeah, why not add another one into the mix, man? I just think they're a funny football club nowadays, man. They're, they used to be serious under Roman. Yeah, they used to move They used to move serious. And now, I, I don't really get it. I don't really get the strategy, to be honest with you. They do need a striker, so I'll give, I, I'll give them that one. Oshiman is available there as well, but... I, I don't really. Uh, so, so what? They giving up on Mudrick then? After a year, is that it? We, we, we done there. Well, if you, well, if you go for Nico Williams, the, the answer is simply yes, because Nico Williams looks excellent. If they go for him, yep. If they go for Osaman, that means Jackson isn't going to be the main guy. But I think they have to do this, though. LB, as much as they have spent money and and, and potentially wasted it, if you end up with a summer where your four main signings are tossing Dewsbury Hall. Usman and Nico Williams. That's a really good summer, isn't it? No, they need a striker. Hundred percent, they need a striker, right? But they knew they, they, they knew they needed a striker before they signed the lad that they've got for last year. You know what I mean? I just think that like the 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 winger situation is a little strange because to to give up on Mudrick that that early is is pretty mad in my opinion. Um, but I just think if they got Oshiman, I don't really think they need to go and get Nico Williams. Nico Williams is clearly better than Mudrick. Yeah, he's clearly better than him. But like to give up on him that quickly is a bit of a madness. So, yeah, we'll see See if they get that deal across the line. They definitely need a striker, man, because, again, I was being told by Chelsea fans last year that they were playing good football. We just don't have a striker. We don't have a striker, which might have been true in some of the games. I think they overdid it a little bit and over overhyped that. So if they get Oshiman, then we'll see, innit? But, I don't know, man. I just feel like it's just a chaotic football club. It's just a mad chaotic football club. Another manager through the door. Yeah, this man, this owner has wasted so much money. Yeah, for very little reward. Um, still not in the Champions League. They've got this manager who's super high risk manager. Let's see how they get on, man. But just wild, isn't it? It's just a wild football club. Like I can't believe like they're not in the Champions League and they spent one point five billion quid. Like it's just insane, really. Yeah, I can't disagree with much of what LB said. People know my thoughts on this ownership and Chelsea. I think it's been an absolute shambles. And I think the standards have completely dropped at Chelsea, in my opinion. Um, they're not the club that they were under Roman. I don't expect that they'll get there under this ownership. That's just my opinion. And I'm happy to be proven wrong if people believe that they're going to go right to the top under um, Enzo Maresca with signings like Drewsbury Hall. Then go for it. I actually think when everybody's fit, Chelsea have actually got an all right team. If they had a goalkeeper, they had a centre-back, they had a left winger and they had a striker, I think most people will look at that 11 and go, yeah, that's definitely good enough to be in the top four. But I think what we have, they have to stop doing is buying loads of young players because you are going to need to have some now players sooner or later. So Osserman would be a good signing because he's a now player. If they went and bought Diogo Costa in goal, that's a now goalkeeper that's one of the best in the world right now, in my opinion. They went and got a left winger like Nico Williams. Then you can start looking at Chelsea and go, OK, now they've got a younger squad that can be built around. You've got a goal scorer. You've got a goalkeeper that would get into most teams. You've got a left winger that everyone's talking about lighting up the Euros. Chelsea have still got Lavia. They've still got Enzo. They've still got Caicedo. Obviously, um, defensively, if they could get in actual centre-back partnership together that looks to be solid, then fair play. Kukurea has been good for a few months. I've got Malogosto or I rate if Reese James stays fit, which is a massive, massive question mark and has been for the last 18 months to two years. They've got one of the best right backs in the league, in my opinion. Cole Palmer, he's there. People have not. Nkunku, he's coming back. So really, you look at it and think fair play. But I still don't have any positive things to say about this ownership yet because I think it's been a mess, if I'm honest with you, to spend that much money and to be where Chelsea are. 
And to be flirting around, let's be real, with the best part of two seasons, they've been in the bottom half of the table for more than half of it, or most of it, if I'm honest. And then Poch for the last few games goes, boom, 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 win. Right now we're finally playing. And they go, actually, let's get rid of you now and bring in the championship winning manager and then get him to bring the championship star boy with him. That, to me, is not where you go to want to try and catch up with Man City and Arsenal. But a lot of the Chelsea fans will tell you different, that they're really happy and that it's, you know, going to work. So make sure it does. <laughs> if you're a Chelsea fan, I hope for your sake that it does. But I, I just don't rate the ownership from what I've seen so far, man. No, I, I totally... I, listen, I get where you boys are coming from. For me, I look at the Osterman deal. I look at the, the potential of Williams or someone of that quality. If they don't get at least two players of that ilk this summer with what they've already done, and it's just more unknown youngsters, I I I, I think they're doing Moresca a disservice. I don't know how good or bad he's going to be, you know. And it's <laughs> lots of people are writing in are writing in the quote from Don earlier on this week. Um, he did say, he Don did say you will learn about Moresca. That, that that's like Don's new thing. Um. But where I sort of agree with how much is football is what Don watched this guy. I don't know. I don't. I, I think that's the thing. Like, I love Don, but what? What? Like you know, he was not on Don's radar. I spoke to Don. He he did not want this manager. So why why are we hearing now? We will learn about Maresca from Don when Don did not have him on his on his list of managers. He wanted. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> Yeah, but this yeah, is what I'm football fans it. do, though, isn't it? Football fans try and just spin the positive. Well, most fans try and spin the positive. I think it with United when a lot of United fans were were ten ag out. As soon as a guy signs a new contract, oh, let's back him, let's get behind him. Well, if you don't think he's good enough, you don't think he's good enough. Why are you now all of a sudden backing him? It's the same with Maresca. Most Chelsea fans, probably over ninety percent, wouldn't have wanted Maresca, right? They just wouldn't have. And then as soon as he's signed, obviously they're going to posit a spin a positive. We we'll have to see, man. Obviously, he's done very well with, with Leicester. He plays that possession style football. Maybe he's good with the kids. That's what they told me about Poch, man. They said, "Oh yeah, but LB is good with the kids." But, uh, but that's right. also so. This is the thing. I, listen. I get where you're coming from, boys. I'm I'm very open minded about Modesto because I don't know enough about him. Yeah, he's saying. But the but the club have got to set him up to be successful. And if if Tossin and Dewsbury Hall are as good as it gets, they're the best signings they make outside of the youngsters. And the thing with lots of youngsters is you can't develop them all at the same time anyway. There is no precedent. There is no example that we can draw from of any top club in Europe, in a top, top league, predominantly having kids and developing them all into brilliant players and becoming a world-class team. There's no example of that happening without a core experience spine that's already through the team. So if they don't go and get Osimhen's, Nico Williams's, they are putting even more pressure on Modesca because you're trying to make Maresca get Maresca get consistency from young players who are typically inconsistent. It's part of being a young player; you're inconsistent, so that you need to get someone that can score 30, 35 goals in all comps. Yes, I know Nico Williams is young, but he's an outlier in the young space where he's already got a lot of experience. The guy just absolutely balled out for an international tournament. There's a little difference between like, Yamal's another one. Yes, he's 16, but he's a different level of 16 year old. Most players sort of in that sort of sort of 17, 18 to 21, 22 year old mark are still very fresh and inconsistent and up and down. Majority of footballers sit in that space. And I think they've got to, they've got to help their manager by, by doing that. 